What's up guys, I device help here. Today in this video, we're going to be taking a look at iOS 8 to beta 4. Apple has just recently released iOS 8 beta 4. If you want to update from beta 3, just go to settings, general, software updates, and you'll get prompted to update to beta 4. That is if you have already installed iOS 8 beta 3. Now, I have a tutorial in the video description down below if you'd like to try it out for yourself. There's some cool new changes. And again, for those jailbreakers out there, don't worry, you can always downgrade back to iOS 7.1.2 to jailbreak again if you wish to do so now is the time to try ios 8 if you wish to do so and all those videos will be in the description let's go ahead and take a look around the new operating system see what apple has improved all right so as we take a look around the operating system the first thing you'll notice is a new application called tips now this is a default application that apple has added to the operating system to help users understand how to use ios i think this is a very great move by apple it shows you step by step on how to use ios 8 and it's going to be available to the public once ios 8 is released to the public of course and you can browse through this application and search a lot of cool tips and information on how to use the operating system now this is a default application it cannot be deleted from the operating system so i think apple did a good move by adding a tips application onto the operating system now in ios 8 beta 4 apple has redesigned control center eliminating some of the lines and making the icons glow white when you activate a certain toggle I think control center really looks really sleek and smooth now also the transparency is not as much as it was before it's still there but it's not as much so I think it looks a little bit flatter and the icons all look better in my opinion so that is control center the new redesign as you can see there you get a nice glow behind the icons when you activate them now under the settings panel in iOS 8 beta 4 you have a new display and brightness settings now has been moved to the brightness display has been put together in one particular settings you can adjust the size of the fonts from right there and also make this text bolder and also adjust your brightness while you're there as well so that's a new option here in iOS 8 beta 4 for the brightness and display settings. Now Apple has also improved upon messages. The new messages settings now has different expiration dates for video and audio sources. So you can set different times from when video messages and audio message will expire from your device saving memory on your device. Also if we go into the messaging application the speech to text now renders words instantly instead of waiting for the feedback. Let's go ahead and try it out. This is a test. There it is, it responded rather quickly. You don't have to wait for it to send it to the server and come back now that's faster in messages application. So Apple keeps improving upon messages. That's really great options there available for messages. As you might remember in iOS 8 previous versions of the beta version, we had a bug report application, but that's no longer found here in iOS 8 beta 4, which kind of indicates that iOS 8 is almost ready for prime time to be released to the public. We'll have to wait for the final version. Hopefully iOS 8 beta 5 will be released in the next couple of weeks, and then we'll see the official release once the iPhone 6 gets announced. Rumors are September. Now also under the Generals tab, the handoff feature has been moved for its own section, which allows you to switch handoff on and off. Of course, handoff is a new continuity feature that Apple allows you to start something on an iOS device and finish it on another or on your Mac and also receive calls and messages. Now you can toggle that on and off. It has its own section. Also, suggested applications can be switched on and off. Suggested applications by tracking your location. It'll offer applications. Say you go to a Starbucks, it'll offer you to download the app and certain things like that. You can switch that on and off if you'd wish to do so. And also apps or suggestions based on applications that you have previously installed as well you can switch that on and off as well so those toggles all have their own section here in ios 8 beta 4. another minor change in ios 8 beta 4 is the icons below here on the safari browser have been tweaked a little bit as you can see there but minor change there for the uh, safari web browser now in the previous version ios 8 beta 3 apple introduced a new feature for the multitasker where you have your recent calls and your favorite contacts well if you go into the settings application now under mail contacts and calendar you want to scroll down to contacts right here you have a switch to switch that favorites or recent off if you don't want those to show up on the top you can switch either one off if you wish to do so that's a cool option available for the multitasker now also if you go to the keyboard section in iOS 8 beta 4 Apple has renamed the quick type to predictive keyboard so now the quick type option has been renamed you can go ahead and toggle it on and off that switch was always there in previous versions of iOS 8 but now has been renamed to predictive instead of quick type. Now also under the mail contacts and calendars you also have a new option also for the new swipe gestures that you can go ahead and modify to your liking so you can swipe from right to left right now I have it swipe to left to flag or swipe to right to mark as red uh, you can switch those options if you wish to do so to do different actions when you're in the mail app while you swipe left and right cool options there if you'd like to have new options when you swipe on your mail also works with contacts and calendar. 
Last but not least, under the General's option here under Siri, you have a new toggle which activates Siri by just simply saying, Hey Siri, once it's connected to a power source. So once you put your iPhone on the dock before you go to bed, it'll automatically switch Siri on. So when you say, Hey Siri, it would automatically power up Siri. Siri can assist you. You can switch that on and off under the Siri option. Now that option was available previously, but now it's been moved to the actual Siri options. Alright guys, so that about brings an end to the new features available here in iOS 8 Beta 4. Again, if you'd like to try the new version, links will be down below. And also my full core version in iOS 8, links will be down below to my channel so you can see how iOS 8 has evolved. iOS 8 feels very polished right now. It almost feels ready to go public. You can anticipate one more beta and also release probably a couple days before iPhone 6 is announced and available to the public. So iOS 8 is very close to being finished. And of course, we're waiting for the iPhone 6. All those cool videos coming your way. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and click the like button if you enjoy this video. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus for more coverage. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.